This season of Serial, you're gonna hear an insider's history of Guantanamo from the people who have lived there and worked there and been imprisoned there. Sarah Koenig and I went to Guantanamo the first time in 2015, and the experience of being there was really weird because it's an American naval base. It sort of looks like an American town, but then it's on the Caribbean, so think like tropical desert island, beautiful sparkling water, McDonald's, and then juxtaposed with this, uh, this prison that has become a symbol of human rights abuses. One of the soldiers we met in 2015 when Sarah and I went for the media tour was this guy, Raul Sanchez. He was a soldier in the Arizona National Guard and he was doing a job as a public affairs officer. And he was one of the first people that I called back up years later um, to talk about his experience there. So I was trained for Afghanistan. I was trained for Kosovo. You cannot train for Guantanamo Bay. We spoke to over 100 people, um, mostly people who have lived and worked there though we also interviewed a bunch of former prisoners as well. Since 2002, about 780 prisoners have been held at Guantanamo. Prison is still open. 30 men are still in prison there. They tend to really struggle to um, reestablish their lives after they've been released from Guantanamo. I think most of the world has sort of relegated Guantanamo to a page in a history book. A lot of the reasons why we built Guantanamo 22 years ago are still at play today in uh, geopolitics. So tensions in the Middle East are obviously uh, a big thing right now. They just, they never went away. But it's important now, I think, to go back and hear from the people who went through it, because it's thousands and thousands of people at this point. It's grounding to understand what it's like to go through a system like that and come out on the other side. None of them are the same.